And the last couple of days, or yesterday it started, or maybe a few days before that, I started listening to this particular cult that formed, um, this Mormon cult, this extreme Mormon cult that was about the end of days. And just listening to their ideas, firstly what it did is it made me realise like how much when you really go into Christianity, like a lot of it sounds like non-duality, like a lot of what they were talking about was giving up control and letting like God's word speak through you. And I realised, you know, if I had been in America or in these Mormon, near these Mormon people, like I could have so easily fallen into that because there's something really beautiful in that. But there's something also really dangerous in it as well. And what's dangerous in it is this, um, this dogmatic belief in anything, this attachment to ideas. Like it sends us crazy as humans. And these polarities of right and wrong, good and bad, should, shouldn't, like are the polarities of, of the way in which we think. And our stories, our stories about ourselves, our stories about society, our stories about others. And basically what I was following was this, um, this lady who got involved in this cult-like teaching and before that she had raised six children and she got into it and then she finally killed her last two children because she believed that's what God was telling her to do that was God's word and you could say that she's gone mad like that's mental illness but um but if you really examine like all our thought systems like I mean I know that that's extreme but if you look at our society, we also do really extreme things. I'm not saying that she was sane, like, I mean, madness and sanity is a, like an odd conversation. Like there is certain, like I've seen people have psychosis where they really lose touch with like the collective reality. But with her, like she still had like a connection to collective reality. And the way in which she went mad was, or where she went really extreme was in this idea of God speaking through her, like letting God speak through her. And God spoke through her and through others in the organization and said that the kids had like dark energies in them and that they, the best thing for them was to, to die or to move on to the next realm. And this, like the, the, this is also happening in our society. Like, for, for example, to me, our concept of trade and money and capitalism is a form of madness. But we will take that to be right and true and fair. Like our justice system is a form of madness to me. There's good elements to it because it helps us as a collective work together and to function. But there's also lots of madness in it but we believe it to be true. The other thing that we believe to be true is that we are somebody inside these bodies that separate entities, that are separate entities that have control over our life. And we take that as truth. Society takes that as a truth. Like there's so many stories, like the idea that you have a child, like that doesn't seem like a mad idea, but when you really break it down, like the idea that you possess a child, that you own a child, we need that language in order to function, but we take it as truth. I am your mother. You are my mother. I am somebody which has a mother. Like Khaleesi doesn't, certainly doesn't look at me, look to me like her mother or not mother. She's just like, feed me, woman. Feed me. Where's the food? Chicken. Where's the chicken? Give me the chicken. Walk me, woman. She's not really saying that she can't speak. Just sometimes. <laughs> Joking. Um, so all of these things we take as truth. Like we take as truth that what's behind me is called a wall and that's what it is, a wall. And it's happening so quickly all the time, like our ability to name things, our ability to tell story about our environment, that it becomes fact. I remember when I lived in Australia, like 
going on a tour or something or being told about like um the aborigine people and how they knew their environment through singing and that really like sent fireworks off in my brain like to know your environment through st- song would um be a completely different environment So they retract and retrace their environments through singing songs. Like, can you imagine knowing your environment through music? We are so conditioned to believe our stories about us. And even when I speak in the positive, so when I start telling you what you are rather than what you're not, that is a story, which is totally mind blowing. Mind is like, yeah, but I, I must be able to know myself through a story. But you can't know yourself through a story. You can't know God through a story. But yet, God knows everything. Like, this is known, the stories are known. And that only happens in this moment. It's instant. It's right here. And even if you take that as a belief, so you take this as your new belief in which you're going to hold up to the world and proclaim to be, that isn't it. That's got nothing to do with who you are. You're trying to talk around who you are, but that's not who you are. So stories you tell yourself about who you are isn't who you are. Even the story of God moving through us, of there is no choice, there is no chooser, there is nobody here. This is a story which can become your new cult, which is super annoying when you meet people like that. And they're always like, who, who? Maybe you are one of those people that's preaching it to people all the time. Yes, but there's nobody speaking, so I'm not preaching. Yeah. I'm sure I've been that, but I'm sure I'm that person often. I'm not excluded from that. <laughs>